The mystery of the hundreds of dead rats on a West Coast beach remains unsolved. Tests were done on a small sample of the 680 rodents, yik, found a week and a half ago to see if they had been poisoned by a recent 1080 drop. These tests came back today showing no traces of the toxin, which begs the question, just how did the rats die? Conan Young tried to find out. Doc manager Mark Davies says the cause of the death remains a mystery, but they may have drowned during a recent storm. He says the sheer number found on the Westport beach reflects the explosion in rat numbers following the mega mast in New Zealand forests. There's a plague of rats everywhere and this is again a a natural phenomenon caused by this flowering of the um, forest in the last summer and everybody is being bothered by these rats. Mark Davies says the dead sea creatures found nearby could also be explained by the storm. It's not uncommon in a storm event to have the odd sea life turn up on the beach. Um, Fish generally, I mean, you know, they don't don't eat rats. Um, So I think, you know, this is all coincidental and unrelated. Rat exterminator Norman Kerr backs up the drowning theory, even though rats are good swimmers. Under very stormy conditions, especially if they are in burrows and the water floods them, then they'll basically drown and, and then get washed out with the tide, so it could be just as simple as that. The 1080 theory was based on an aerial drop of the poison 140 kilometres away. However, Norman Kerr says the rats may have been living close by. Especially if there's an available food source around the area, um, they'll you know they'll nest in the ground. They'll nest sort of in vegetation. Um, basically, wherever there's a food source, they won't be far away from it. Pest eradication expert and scientist John Parks says the rats may have starved to death before being washed into rivers and then up onto the beach in the storm. My sort of guess would be that. Uh because of the big uh, beach and Potokar mast year, we've had an eruption of mice and rats all through our forests. When the beach seed starts to germinate, which is about this time of year, that food supply dries up and the rat population collapses again. However, one of the first people to come across the rats, Westport local Kylie Coleman, says she doesn't trust Doc and is hanging on to the theory they died in a 1080 drop. We need answers. We don't want to see it happen again. So you kind of need answers to stop it from happening again. Doc says with 1080 now having been discounted as a possibility, no further work will be done to get to the bottom of just how so many dead rats ended up on the Westport beach. Leaving this mystery, at least for now, unexplained. More te hotaka o te ahi ahi, ko Young tenei.